good afternoon. It is, gosh, it's tough. I'm losing track of what day of the week it is these days. It's Monday, March 30th, and our governor here in Arizona just issued a statewide stay-at-home order that goes into effect tomorrow. This follows similar orders that other states have already done. So I guess that means I'm gonna be entertaining myself with a few more automotive related projects. And the first one is gonna be a complete detail of the ILX. This poor thing has been my daily driver for about eight years now, coming up in June, and it's never really had a lot of TLC because it's not been garaged. So let's see how bad it is to start with. So silver's a pretty forgiving color. This is Silver Moon. Got a nice bird dropping right there. Um, it looks better, I think, in pictures than in real life, but the paint's really rough. Um, I got a clay kit that I'm going to treat, treat it to. I did have it parked under a tree recently, and so there's a bunch of droppings all over it, but just like finish-wise needs a lot of help. The spoiler, interestingly enough, has been fading uh, severely just over the last couple years especially. There's virtually no clear coat left. Otherwise, the body's pretty good. This car's been hit and run twice, so I gave up worrying about the back bumper just in case it happens again. Least I can do is clean it up a little bit though. Front end's been protected with a clear bra and uh, probably that high headlight could use some polishing as well. Inside these are things are pretty good for 223,000 miles. There's some wear area on the bottom of the driver's seat. The lettering fell out of this all-weather mat a long time ago, but look how bad the carpet is. So definitely some room for improvement in here. I have the space cleared out because a uh, legend that I was storing for a friend is now gone. So we're going to put it right there and uh, put this project on the front burner for a couple days. Under the hood, I can tell you right now it's going to be dusty. I haven't really looked at this for a little while. There it is, K24, 2.4 liter, 201 horsepower. This has been the best car in terms of reliability. Seriously, super, super cost effective. Probably an oil change every eight to 9,000, uh, a couple sets of brakes, and I mean, really just routine stuff, super easy. My initial wash is finished, just uh, tidying up the door jams real quick with my towel. This was a kind of a unique car when I ordered it. Uh, it has some accessories that you don't see very often, like the illuminated door sills. I did get the all-weather mats. You can start to see some of the damage though, uh, especially now that I've cleaned off the back bumper. See this right here is where I was hit and run um, the second time. This crease right here in the back bumper was from the first time. Poor thing's been uh, beaten, abused a little bit. So we're gonna finish up here in the door jams and then take it from there. This one's for you, Mike. If you guys haven't already checked out Mike's channel, go to Oh Yeah About That. day obviously and uh, 
I got started early this morning with the vacuum. I pulled the floor mats out so I can clean those up later. And uh, the car got a few specks of dust on it overnight, so I'm gonna hit it with, actually my entire detailing process is gonna be a mix and match of brands. I'm not necessarily brand loyal to any single uh, detailing companies. So first things first, we're gonna do paint prep. I picked up this Mother's clay kit from AutoZone. Uh, it's been, I don't remember the last time this car got a clay bar, and since it's not garaged, I suspect there's actually quite a bit of stuff on the paint, so let's see what comes off it. a little quick headlight resto on this driver's side light. It's a lot more yellow than the passenger side because it's original and that one at one point was replaced. So here we go with this. Okay, two coats of the headlight restoration uh, Clear. It's this kit again from Meguiar's. It's a two-part uh, process where you basically rough it up with some um, a bristle pad that they provide and wipe it down to make sure the surface is totally clean and then you uh, coat it a couple of times with a uh, few minutes in between with this headlight coating. So same process I did for my RL last year and I'm going to go ahead and rip this stuff off. best for last so we're gonna do a little tire dressing here um, I like this Meguiar's endurance because it doesn't fling around too much especially if you let it soak in for a bit but I like to it's super thick like great gel and I like to dilute it just a teeny bit with um, some basic armor all protectant <laughs> Let's do a little leather care now, yeah? Uh, this is gonna be a one-step three-in-one from Griot's Garage that I like. These seats aren't too bad, other than that little area right there on the driver's seat, but they can always use some conditioning, especially here in the desert. This interior is looking really good. Why not, right? We're gonna go ahead and dress some of the rubber parts here in the engine bay. Okay, I think we're about there. That's about it. Interior, exterior, engine, trunk, floor mats, carpet, leather, wheels and tires, wheel wells. This car got the whole treatment 